Hello, this is Francesco Sarastan, the author of Focus Photo Editor, which is an image editor uh, which is suitable for uh, modifying, improving and uh, retouching any kind of uh, uh, picture file, and especially your digital photos, which are of course our favorite uh, thing to do and to retouch. So let's uh, in this tutorial let's learn how to use the program to create a um, composite using different pictures and using also different techniques like uh, layers uh, and uh, selections and uh, other things that we are going to learn I will try to be as uh, clear as possible now this is the starting pictures uh, that I am going to edit and this is here the let's say the picture that I already created and that we will try to replicate here in this uh, tutorial so let's start from this picture as first step we will try to improve the picture uh, by using the quick fix wizard so I I will do it very easily by making this correction here adjusting uh, various uh, parameters that uh, make the picture more the picture color more brilliant and the uh, exposure uh, a little more contrast in the picture now we we'll still need to bring out more detail in the shadow so we will use the smart flash tool here apply a, an amount of uh, a strong amount of this tool so we see now that the shadows are all uh, clearly visible we have recovered uh, many details there and if we uh, we don't like um, that there are details we didn't want to take uh, to bring to light uh, in some parts of the picture we can use the history tool which is a it's, it's a, a paintbrush um, that we can handle with the, with the mouse and we can go in the parts of the picture that we don't like to change let's say uh, for example this vegetation was quite fine how it was before and maybe a little some part of this elephant so after we have uh, adjusted the picture we can also apply uh, the auto adaptive exposure which is uh, a way to give local contrast to the picture and we already seen how to do this in the first tutorial I will apply the default values here and again now with uh, using the history tool, history brush, I will undo some change in some part that I want to keep it like it was before. So I will just uh, uh, use the history brush in some place. Now we are ready with this picture to um, to now uh, make the real uh, issue of this uh, uh, of this tutorial that is to create a collage make made of two images so let's uh, let's uh, uh, take I already have put one image in the uh, in my object uh, but I will do it again so let's let's pick the picture to be used which is here let's use this one so picture first and then I will use the copy command here then I will go to the previous picture and I will just paste 
the picture the new picture here so this is uh, what happened when I create when I make the paste command it creates a new layer that will appear here in the layer window and I can resize for example this layer immediately because the program already understand that I want to do something with this layer so he it will uh, uh, immediately select the move layer tool so now we have resized this layer we can apply a different uh, blending mode to the layer that is a way how the layer can be applied on the background so you see that I changed the mode and now some parts of the background are visible so I think we are this could be as a, an example to use so let's now we don't want of course this picture over the whole background but we only want it to be applied in the part size so let's make a selection now I could use for example the the magic wand selection tool but to be able to select every part of the sky even uh, uh, among the trees very hard using this tool so yeah I can use but it's too slow so I will uh, use another way I will just with the right mouse click I go here and then I go this color and I select and I say yes select with uh, 15 selectivity amount so the amount of selectivity uh, will um, mm, will uh, change the way uh, the pixels are selected the more selective uh, the less pixels are taken into the selection so this is the selection I made and now I just show again the layer that I created and I will first invert the section and now I will on this new layer which is on top I will just press the cut button here the cut command which will cut away all the parts that do not belong to the section now you can see now here is been uh, shaped with the sun that I had made previously um, now we can for example uh, refine this selection we will zoom in and we will use the undo the history brush tool once again and uh, or we can use the erase layer tool which is uh, another way to do this so let's use the erase layer and I will go here in these parts of the layer which are on top and that I don't want to be kept there so you see that the man here has got some uh, parts of the layer which may make him to look like he has a red tint so now I we can accept this uh, uh, this uh, modification and you can see that uh, the tab have become too much transparent because I when I cut the select in there was some level selection too so they were a little cut cut out too so I will just double this layer the, this layer I will create another layer a, a duplicate just duplicate the layer and uh, I can uh, change the amount of layer to be shown so you can see that we have created the picture that uh, we wanted from uh, the start also you can now make a copy of the whole 
composite and press the paste button again and you have a, a layer which contains both both the layers that we have created and now you can apply any other change to this if you like you can apply for example some uh, gradient or interesting so this was everything for this tutorial hope you like it